Hello my loves, my beautiful fellow Virgos. If you're new to the channel, very warm welcome. My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK, and I'm also a Virgo born on the 13th of September, 1988. Um, shout out to my returning subs, you know who you are. I hand on heart really appreciate you. Please remember if you find that this reading resonates with you in any way, smash that thumbs button, interact with the video. You can do so by leaving a heart. It's gonna help the algorithms. It's gonna help me and the channel grow, okay? Who is it that is thinking about you? We have the Ten of Pentacles in the far distance here. Um, let's talk about this Ten of Pentacles. I think somebody that is money orientated, very driven. This is about commitment. This is about growth, prosperity, riches, leaving legacies, right? Um, an ambitious type of energy, I think. The King of Swords is... Um, an intellectual person without talking about zodiac signs an intellectual person somebody that's very blunt communicates well um speaks their mind okay is 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 you know those people that um come across as very wise okay but then we have this hanging man and it jumped out in the reverse position so whoever it is that's thinking about you i'm getting an energy around self sabotaging stuck energy Sometimes people don't know that they're stuck. Some people don't know how much potential they have as a person. This person um, could be holding on to something that's not meant for them, a way of living, a person. is very stubborn energy as well. Okay, so not only stagnant and self-sabotaging, stubborn, all the S's. We will clarify these energies. Moving on to the person that wants you. We have the chariot card, which signifies cancer energy. If it's not a cancer, then it can be somebody that is, um, d there's dynamics, right? There's differences in the energy that you guys have. We also have the justice card and we also have the ten of cups. There's lessons here with regards to the person that wants you. Lessons in love, lessons how they display their love, how they receive their love. Okay, this could be a karmic situation. There could be something here to do with legalities, like legal situations, you know. Um, I do pick up on that. But the Ten of Cups shows me that someone's got a lot of love to give. Okay, and there's lessons around love. Maybe there's things that you need to learn around love. The person that truly loves you, we have the Star card, the World card, and the Death card, which... All three major arcanas, it feels very intense. We have Capricorn, Aquarius and Scorpio energy. It doesn't have to be those signs. But what we get here is hope, faith, something being written in the stars, being on the right path, the world card, happiness, completion. This person may be at a distance from you. And, and the death card signifies changes, transitional energy, okay? Letting the past go, bringing in the new. We will start to clarify these cards now. Um, I did pick up two cards, which I'll leave to the end with regards to advice from the universe, aside from love, Virgo. Uh, and we'll see what's coming towards you in love. But for now, tell me more about this hanged man in reverse. What is this self-sabotaging energy? Okay, for some of you guys, you may not want to hear it, but what I feel here is uh, some of you Virgos could be self-sabotaging. Um, I feel like, okay, there's an energy of laziness. There's an energy of wanting to give up. You could actually potentially want to give up on somebody here, but something could be preventing you from doing so. Because what I see here is someone that's unable to move on from the past, from a particular person or situation. The Six of Swords in the reverse energy is... Um, it's very significant, okay, because somebody's resisting change here. Somebody is carrying weight from the past, a past person or, you know, all the stuff that you, perhaps that you've been through, okay? Somebody's resist, resisting change here. And, and, and you, what I'm going to say is someone's being stubborn. I don't know who it is. Maybe someone's being stubborn towards you, but um, that's what I'm getting here. Okay, moving on to the person that wants you. Tell me more about this justice card. Why is the justice card here? We get strong Aquarius energy in the reading. 
the justice card is clarified by the temperance card so there's something here about healing as i said before learning from lessons but also healing from them why is the justice card here um healing from maybe drama that you've had um resisting something here the, the five of ones is drama arguments disagreements okay fighting and the death card interesting so there's a clear message here that i feel with regards to the person that wants you and again this can be transferable energy it's like the lessons are around how you've always like learnt behavior learnt behavior there's a change here the change comes around behavior that you or your person or both of you have learned and how to change that change the narrative you know in order to accept love to appreciate love to withstand time like is what i'm hearing here but um other than that you know this seems to be quite a good energy reading you really got to speak your mind further if there's something that you want to get off your chest do it why is the star card here with regards to the person that truly loves Virgo? the devil card the six of wands the queen of cups i feel like um i wanted to say temptation is all around us Sometimes we hold ourselves back. Sometimes we downgrade. We pick people that maybe we can, I wouldn't want to say control, but you can, you know that type of energy. Sometimes we don't branch out of our energies. With regards to the person that truly loves you, I see somebody here that wants a successful outcome. There's stuff that needs to be released in both lives. Tapping into intuition, living in an energy where love is unconditional is going to benefit all parties okay i don't know if i'm making any sense what's coming towards virgos in love three of wands so that's taking the next step commitment here for some of you guys a happy home life uh definitely committed energy here definitely lessons sticking to your values this being your own inner guy listening to your own inner guy listening to your own inner mentor you know um being your own guru there's stuff that you are destined to do now some of you are already in the process some of you guys need to step into that energy i do see commitment here i do see happiness coming in for you and um you know this can signify marriage it can signify long term longevity in a situation you know and what's important is cooperation listening communication respect trust all the things that come with a um a strong connection now with regards to advice here the queen of pentacles and the judgment card came out virgo there's a big message here of making things right doing things right now there's stuff that you're meant to do and it's about realizing that becoming the best version of yourselves okay redemption is phoenix rising from the ashes it's seeing stuff a whole lot clearer now this is about total transparency again redemption knowing that you're a good person knowing your heart to be true and unveiling your spirit showing up every day okay that's what i get here um, I'm going to leave now because somebody's at the door, but from one Virgo to another, I love you guys. Please remember to show love in the reading. Um, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you and the gift will catch you on the rebound. Mwah.